Yeah, thanks again for joining me in the materials uh, coffee break today. My name is Michael Bass. Today I want to talk about how you basically purchasing materials, how much quantities you need by the ever still changing engineering world. So the engineering world is changing, they're working on quantities and, and how you, can, how you can, can do this. So I put here a scenario together and I'm saying, okay, let's say here's an estimate. So I have an estimate per line number in this case. I have here two line numbers. And these two line numbers have a pipe in it with 10 meters, an elbow with one each, and a T with one each, and another pipe, another elbow, and so on and so on. So now, if you want to know how much needs to be purchased, you basically summarize in all these quantities. Now let's take the, the pipe. I have 10 meter here, I have 20 meters here, and I have 15 meters here. So that's then 10, 30, 45 meters. So we summarize all this, the system is calculating this, and then we need 45 meters, right? And the same for elbows. So we have two elbows, and we have two T's and one reducer. So that's normal. Um, and this obviously now, as I said, the, the engineering world is changing. So something is happening. So how you deal with this? So now let's say, take this example, this line number will be split in isometrics, doing the design, doing a 3D design. So let's split this. So first I have an isometric, isometric one. Isometric one, for, for example, we say, actually now in detail, instead of 20 meters, we need now 18. We still need an elbow, we still need a T. Okay, now second isometric, so basically here will be cut. Second isometric, we still need a reducer, but the pipe, let's say, we need now 10 meters. Okay, so before the whole line number was estimated with 35 meters. Now we actually identified doing the detailed design it's not anymore 35 meters, it's now 28 meters, right? If I would now start the normal purchasing process and say, give me all the quantities to purchase now in a design, I will get 28 meters, and it would say 28 meters. But this is wrong, because what we forgot is there's still a line number that is not designed yet, and virtually we still need here 10 meters. So there's a concept in materials management called best qualities. Best qualities means you take the best qualities from the latest status you can get. So in this case, if for a line number only an estimate is available, so no design, only estimate, take the estimate qualities. Now, if you have for a line number already a design, take the design quantities, right? So in, in real world, materials management will calculate not 28 meters. If we put here a little virtually placeholder in it for 10, basically, and we need, what is it, 28, 38 meters, right? So instead of 28, it will be actually 38 meters. So that's the best quantities in the moment, currently now. Now let's assume we are creating another, we are now deleting, uh, we are creating now the design for this line number. And maybe perhaps it's small enough, maybe just another isometric, isometric three, and then pipe, instead of just 10 meters, maybe perhaps now, let's say 20 meters. So, same rule again, when, I want, when we want to analyze the quantities, goes in the last status, everything in X-ray is now designed. So I have 20, I have 38 meters, uh, 48 meters. So in real world, now latest is 48 meters. And then the system calculates also, before we purchased 45, now it's 48, so I need to buy three more quantities. So that's a concept a very good concept in materials management, calculate quantities always based on the latest status that's in the system, line number by line number or area by area. 
that's called best commodities. Okay, thanks for listening today. See you in business. Like the bus.